Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, video on the IUPAC nomenclature of phenols. So we need to first of all understand what phenols are and I'm sure you have some idea about that. We have a benzene ring and on the benzene ring we have a OH group attached. You can, you can you can assume phenol to be a aromatic uh, version of alcohol so that's why it, it 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 ends in all so we are talking about phenol and phenol derivatives now the common name of this is phenol and that is accepted in the IUPAC system even though technically speaking we call it benzenol but even phenol is used in the IUPAC system and when you want to um, number it, remember the carbon containing the OH will be getting the first position. So common name is phenol and the IUPAC name is benzenol, but phenol can be used. In IUPAC nomenclature, the parent molecule is called phenol and substituents are always numbered with the OH group being given the understood first position. So this is phenol. Now, what would be the name of this one? It's a phenol derivative. Pause the video, name it, and play it back to check the name. Now, obviously, we need to number it now. And the carbon containing the OH, this carbon, is going to get position number 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. And Cl is a substituent for chlorophenol. We don't have to state one phenol. What would you name this as? Well, number it one, two, three, number it in such a way so that the substituent gets the lowest number. It's three nitro phenol. What would be the name of this one? Pause, check, and then play it back. I'm numbering it one, two, three, four, five. So it's three, five dinitro phenol. What would you name this as? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 3 ethyl phenol. Try this one. Now here you have an OH group in the substituent. Whenever OH occurs as a substituent, it is written as hydroxy. It's called hydroxy. And obviously, you're going to number it this way. This is 1, this is 2. So it is 2 hydroxy. Okay, And this occurs in position number 3. So this will be inside the bracket. So it's going to be 3, 2 hydroxyphenol. 2 hydroxy ethyl phenol, sorry. And for some compounds, their common names are retained as IUPAC names. So it's very important for you to understand and remember these common names because they are also the IUPAC names of these. Now, from the IUPAC version, this would be called 1-methylphenol and its common name is orthocresol. Now remember, understand when we give ortho. Ortho is given when the carbon containing two groups are such that there is no carbon between them. So this is orthocresol accepted in the IUPAC version. If you look at this one, the carbon which contains the two substituents has one carbon in between it. It's called meta. So we can either call it 3-methylphenol or we call it metacresol. And when there are two carbons between the two substituents, it's called para. We call it 4-methylphenol or para-cresol. This particular molecule can be called 2-hydroxyphenol or its common name is pyrocatechol. When they are in the meta position to each other, because there's one carbon in between them, we can call it 3-hydroxyphenol or we call it resorcenol. These are the common names which are retained as IUPAC names. And the para version, because there are two carbons between the carbons holding the OH, 
you can call it 4 hydroxyphenol or we call it hydroquinone so this is the way by which we name phenols any substituent attached to oh group and i'm assuming that that substituent carries a priority less than oh in that case the parent is phenol and give the pro proper numbering in the proper order to give the lowest number to the first locant and that way you will be able to name phenols and its derivatives i hope this video helps you understand the nomenclature of phenols thanks for watching